Are you looking to grow your following with the content that you post online? Specifically grow an audience of people who are ready to buy what you have to sell. Maybe you're a small business owner selling services or products and you just wanna grow an audience who's excited to see you show up online and also purchase from you. That's what we're gonna talk about today and how to do it in three simple steps and what are the three things I would be thinking about if I was wondering exactly how I should be growing my following when it comes to the content I'm posting. All right, the first step here, and I don't want you to tune me out because if you're a more established business owner, you've probably heard about this before, but it's to basically know what you're all about when it comes to your ideal client, your target audience, what your business is, your niche. You need to be crystal clear on these things. And I say, don't tune me out because I think a lot of business owners hear this and they're like, oh yeah, like I've thought about that before. I know who I'm targeting, but it has shocked me so many times whenever we go deeper into like, the strategy and the things to think about when it comes to your target audience, how many business owners truly have not dug deep into this and actually thought about it, okay? And so I want you to be very, very clear about who it is that you're targeting. So your target audience should be the same as your ideal client, right? So whatever you're trying to sell, whoever you're trying to sell your paid offers to needs to be the same person you're trying to attract on social media. So you're growing an audience full of people that are ultimately gonna buy what you have to offer, right? Like it doesn't make sense to grow an audience audience of people who are interested in one topic, but you're actually trying to sell them on something in a totally different topic that just doesn't align, right? And while that seems like it would make sense, so many business owners are not doing this, right? And so just make sure that those things are very clear. You have a very clear ideal client. You have a very clear mission. You have a very clear values. You have very clear like content pillars and topics that you talk about very frequently within your community. And if you don't have this already fleshed out, flesh it out in a Google document or something similar. So so that you can literally hand this over to someone else. They could read it and literally know exactly what your business is accomplishing, right? And so just making sure that you are very crystal clear on this first is really the first step because if you don't know this, you're gonna grow a following either of people who don't care about what you have to talk about, don't care about what you have to sell, or who aren't very engaged with your content because it's just all over the place. And so make sure you're very clear on this because it's also gonna help you to really have a clear plan on what you're sharing with your audience because you know exactly what you're all about and avoid panic posting and just throwing stuff up and hoping that something is gonna work when it comes to your content. And if you're someone who needs help fleshing this out, I would really encourage you to check out our brand new live program called Visibility. We're running it for the very first time. Enrollment is currently open and I am beyond excited to run this program because it's really about how to market yourself online with organic content marketing, no paid ads, here and it really talks a lot about these business foundations and your ideal client and your audience and your brand and making yourself stand out and how to attract like have to have a very clear idea of who you're attracting so that the content you're posting actually makes a difference right I don't want you just posting content and feeling like you're going nowhere with it so that's where we're really diving deep into invisibility and creating a clear plan for that based on your business it's kind of like a one step up from an online course in terms of support without the high price tag of one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you have any interest in joining that program, learning more about it, enrollment's going to be open for a few more weeks. And there is a link in the description. It's stephaniecase.com slash visibilities where you can get all the information on it. The second step here is kind of a two-in-one when it comes to growing your following. And this is really like a high level picture of what my strategy encompasses when I think about my content calendar. And that is to lead with value and your personal brand. This is something I have done for years and it has served me so well in growing a following of people who are truly engaged with my brand and excited about what I am doing and what I am sharing and that I feel like I can show up and share and have people actually respond to it, right? And so leading with value is something that I believe no matter what kind of business owner you are, I don't care if you're not an educator, I don't care if you do client work, I don't care if you do products, like leading with value is something that no matter what kind of business, I run like this is something I would start with from day one and that is simply establishing yourself as someone who's credible in what you're talking about someone who is willing to give tips and give your experience on whatever topic that your brand and your business is all about and doing that very consistently and doing this is really going to help to build that trust with your audience right with the people that are following you online and for them to see you as someone that they can look to to guide them on their journey as it relates to 
to what you do, right? And then the second one here is having a personal brand. And it is the simple fact that people connect with people. So past leading with value, like what is going to make you stand out from other people online and ultimately help you grow your following is being a human <laughs> um, and showcasing that in your social media content and consistently sharing, um, you know, things past just what you do, whether it's things you do in your day and your personal life and per things about you that they can relate to past what they offer. Like they probably can't connect to the fact that you are a health coach, but they can connect confect, connect to the fact that you love your dog, right? Or that you go on daily walks. So just sharing those types of things helps them to connect with you as a person. It gives you more longevity in your brand, in my opinion, because as a personal brand, you can pivot and offer so many different things and tweak and change as you grow as a person, as you grow as a business. And a lot of times your people will come along with you because they connect with you as a person and they just like you. All right, step number three to growing your following. And you're probably going to slightly roll your eyes at me when I say this but step number three is to be consistent with your posting I know you hear all of the time that consistency consistency is really important and there is a reason why like you are not gonna grow a following by posting every day for 30 days and then ghosting your followers for six months, right? You need to have a plan to post consistently on whichever platform that you have committed to posting on. And that is going to build trust with your audience. It's gonna give them something to look forward to because they know they can expect new content from you. It's gonna help to keep you top of mind, to consistently get in front of your audience, to get in front of a new audience. There are just so many benefits to consistency, right? And consistency, really at the end of the day, when you're thinking business, wise, the more consistent you are, the more you post, the more opportunity you have to uh, get in front of your current warm audience or in front of a new audience. Now, don't confuse consistency with the requirement to post every single day or the requirement to post multiple times a day. Like I am not saying that at all. And really there's not really many platforms I would say posting multiple times a day is actually going to benefit you. So because sometimes that can take away from the quality of your content and having one quality post a day is going to be way more beneficial than just trying to throw up a bunch of content in a day. But really making sure that you are being consistent is truly so important. There's a reason why people talk about it all of the time. And if you are serious about wanting to grow a following, about wanting to grow an audience, about wanting to get you know connected with people who are interested in what you have to offer as a business, you're gonna have to be consistent. You're gonna have to show up even on days when it is hard. And there is a way to do it sustainably though. There is a way to market yourself online. And again, I'm talking all about this and diving deep into this inside of visibility but like how do you market yourself in a way that like you maybe you are consistent but if you have a day where you just don't want to post like you don't have to because you have ways of marketing yourself that outlast you know 24 to 40 hours and don't require you to post every single day and again that's something we're gonna talk about inside of visibility so if you want to learn more about that be sure to join the program and then I wanted to throw in a bonus tip here so if you've made it this far I'm going to give you kind of like an extra step and that is to choose the right platform so what do I mean by this so I would would say when you're choosing your platforms, I think there's often a uh, tendency to want to choose platforms that are either popular, that seem like they're working for other people, that have a tendency to go viral. And I want you to instead to make sure you're choosing the platforms where your, your ideal client is actually showing up on and that where you like are excited to create content for, but that also align with your goals in this season of your business. So like I mentioned, you know, when you're first starting out, you're probably going to be more focused on short form content. You're going to be more focused on content that can get in front of a cold audience because you're trying to build your audience. But as your business grows, keeping in mind that you don't want to stick to that forever. You want to make sure you're also incorporating evergreen content, which means that it's going to outlive 24 hours. It's going to last months, even years. People can find that content and find you and help grow your audience that way without having to post all of the time, right? And so just making sure that you're choosing platforms that are actually going to move the needle for you and that are actually going to make an impact, not just what is popular in the industry right now. If you haven't before, I would love it if you would follow me on Instagram. My handle over there is currently at Stephanie Lynn Case. I will put a link down in the description for my Instagram account if you want to come hang out on there on a daily basis. We show up pretty much every day on Instagram and it's one of our favorite platforms to share on. So if you haven't followed us already, be sure to do that and I will see you guys again in next week's video on Tuesday. Bye guys.